There's no doubt in my mind that this technology is the technology that has most improved. I've always been a fan, but now what this technology can do is absolutely amazing. And I would recommend every teacher of every subject learn to use it well. It really surprises me when I do presentations and conferences Teachers tell me, oh, I know this product, and then afterwards they're really shocked. Let me just show you three examples of what this technology can now do. You can use this tool for audio discussion. So as you can see here, all my students have added up their audio. And not only that, other students have then listened to their audio and commented on what they've recorded really love this example I got students to use the I can't draw button and they wrote in their descriptions and chose their perfect house and these are some of the images that were produced by the I can't draw AI technology that is available in this example, we've got a map of some of the most polluted places in the world and we can click on them and get additional information about that place. This could be a brilliant project or a brilliant uh, way for students to search and research information. You can produce these maps on any single topic. Really interesting and almost instant. Really hope you like the video and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So the tool that we're looking at, of course, is Padlet. Uh, massively improved over the last year and a half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through some of those examples that I've just done. Now I'm using the free tool, which means I'm always limited to three Padlets. In fact, I think you get more if you sign up using your Google account. But what you will need to do every so often is just click and delete a Padlet so that you've then got more free Padlets. So I'm gonna click on make a Padlet here. So clicking on here, and the one that I'm gonna start with is just a simple blank board. And I'm gonna click on the blank board, and I'm gonna use this format here. So just choose the basic format. Click on that and click on done. Now, really important is to come over to this button here, click on it, and we're gonna just write in a title and a description. So I've written in, introduce yourself to the class and my instructions are talk about your hobbies, interests and why you were doing this course plus one unusual interesting thing about you. So this is where the students are just gonna record an introduction and then I'm gonna get them to listen to each other's introductions and to ask additional questions. So I've set the title and the description but there's one other thing really important I need to do. I need to come down to here and I need to click on this really important button, post fields. And I want you to click on that. And this is where a lot of teachers go wrong. We're gonna just click on the first one subject and we're gonna change that to name. So just here is where the students are gonna write their name in. So just put name there, then click on save. Now come back to the body and I want you to actually turn the body off. So I want you to hide the body and save that, and one last thing, I want you to go to attachments, and I want you to turn all of the attachments off. So there's none, except for students will be able to record with audio. Nothing else, and again, click on save. Now, why have I done those three things? Well, I changed the subject to name, so the students will have to write their name. I've deleted the body, because I don't want students writing anything, I just want them recording. And then in the attachments, which is the various different ways that you can add content, I've selected that you can only record with audio. Now, the result of all that will be this. If I click on the button here as a student now to add my Padlet, all I can do is write my name and then do my audio recording. This is exactly what you want with your students. So this is how they would now contribute to the Padlet. Now let me show you first of all how you share the Padlet and then we'll go through the process of actually recording an example. We'll close it down just for a minute and we'll come back to that and just to point out that to share the Padlet so that students can access it, click on this button up here on the share button and you've really got two useful ways. First of all, copy link to board. Okay, so if you copy the link, okay, then you can just share that link with the students and then they can obviously access the Padlet. 
through the link or another really nice way is to just click on get the QR code in fact I often use both and that way particularly if you're in class and you want to use this with the students in class they can access the uh, Padlet through the QR code so those are two really useful ways to share now once the students have actually got access to the Padlet they will want to record themselves now how are they going to do that all students need to do is to click on this button here and they'll have a plus as well if they're on their telephones. They write their name, so I'm going to put Russell, and then I'm going to start recording. So I click on this button here. I can see straight away that my microphone's working. If, it's, if it isn't, just click to find the microphone that you want to use, okay? And then you just click on this button and start recording. Yeah, hi, my name's Russell Stannard, and uh, I'm an educational technologist, and I previously worked as a university lecturer at the University of Westminster and the University of Warwick, blah, blah, blah. Done my recording. I can obviously record again if I'm not happy, but if I am happy, click here, play back and save, and then just click on save. You can actually listen if you want to, but once you're happy, just click on save, now you do have to wait as you'll see it takes a few seconds before it appears on the screen don't forget i've already written my name and then i just click on publish and the first recording will come up now obviously more students will add their recordings now you can also ask afterwards the students to comment so for example you just click on the comment space here and i'm going to say what did you teach at uni and add that question in and that then would be added underneath and this really can make this quite an engaging type of activity. So we're now going to move on and look at the interactive maps. Now these are brilliant because you can produce an interactive map about anything. It could be, for example, the different places in the world where English is spoken as a first language, or it could be about the Industrial Revolution in Britain or the French Revolution in France, or it could be, for example, about the most populated cities in the world. You can do these about anything historical or geographical, and it will produce the map for you, which you can then share with your students. It's a great reading type of activity. Now, just before I move on to this second example, and Padlet really is one of my favorite technologies, I did actually make a video of three other technologies that I've really enjoyed working with this year and that have proved very popular with my subscribers on my newsletter and on my YouTube channel. And if you wanna watch that, I'm gonna put that on the screen now. You can click and watch that video. But what we're gonna do now is show you how the interactive maps work. When you want to leave Padlet, you always click on this button up here in the left-hand corner. That brings you back. Now, remember, we are limited to the number of free Padlets that we can use at any one time. So you will need to delete a Padlet. And as I said, if you sign in with your Google account, it looks like you actually get five for free rather than three. I'm now going to join, um, sorry, make another one. But when I click on make, notice what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to map of historical events. And I need to fill all this information in. And basically, I'm going to do that and then sh explain to you what I've done. So I'm going to do a map about the mega cities of the world. Uh, I'm going to make that uh, for level 12. So it's just before higher education. Students can learn about the mega cities of the world. That's the objective. The pe time period, well, it's now, the world. And I want an interactive map of the mega cities of the world with information about each city and its current population. And I'm doing this as a kind of reading activity, which I'm then going to turn into a kind of speaking activity where I'm going to get the students to choose one of the mega cities, find out more information about it, and then present it to the rest of the students. So I'm going to click on Create, and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it's going to produce this map for me and it looks like it's done a fantastic job I've got various mega cities around the world and I noticed that I can click on them and it's going to provide me with information about those mega cities now it may not cover every single mega city and I guess the way that we define a mega city may uh, vary anyway but it's certainly got some of the most important ones in and you can see how easy these are to produce and and the quality of them and one thing that i really like of course is that to share this again would just be a question of clicking on the button here and sharing either the link or the qr code okay i wish i could show you lots more things in padlet because it really does so many things i'm going to show you now my favorite one 
But also I do have a playlist of Padlet videos that I've made in 2024 featuring many of the different things. And if you wanna watch that video, it's on the screen now. One other thing, if you do like this video and you want more videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads of free uh, videos that you can access. I specialize in, in using technologies in language teaching. And you can also sign up to my newsletter and if you sign up, you'll get a free 14 part course, no tricks, short video course on some of the key technologies that we can use in teaching and learning in the area of language teaching. Let's jump back to the video now then and let's focus on the I can't draw button, which I really, really like. So don't forget, you may need to delete one if you've reached your maximum. I want you then to click on make and I want you to come down to the recipes here, and the one that you're looking for is called Art Showcase. Now, if you can't see it, if it doesn't appear in recipes, just click on View All, and then just go over to General, and you should find it, and these are organized alphabetically, Art Showcase. Now, the brilliant thing about this is that the work is already done for you. The template is already created. So all you need to do is click on the Create button, and there's just one thing that you'll need to change. So just click on the Done button here, because remember, this template actually does all the work for you, except for one thing. I want you to come down to the Settings, go to the Settings, again, scroll down to the Magic button. I call it the Magic button because it really is important to learn about this. Go to the Post Fields, and in Post Fields, what I want you to do is to go to the Attachments, and I want you to turn off all of the attachments, so click on none. And then I want you to come down and just choose I can't draw. So there's no other option, click on save. And then the other thing that I would do is in the body, I would it's already hidden so you don't have to worry, but go to the subject and just change the subject to put name. Okay, so again, the students have put their name. And then click on save. Now, just close that and we should be ready. Now just one point here, a lot of people ask me how I make my videos. I've actually created a new YouTube channel called Screencast Guru where I teach people how I make my videos and how I built up my YouTube channel, how I got to 80,000 subscribers. And if you are interested, then subscribe to the channel. I'll put the link on the screen now. We just started it up, so it's only got a few hundred subscribers at the moment. And the whole idea of that channel is to teach you how to build up your own YouTube channel and to make videos using Camtasia. Now, when the students go to do their art showcase, all they need to do is click on this button here and they'll write in their, own name, their name. So I'm just gonna write Russell. They're gonna click here on I can't draw and they're gonna just write in their description in this area here. So I've written in my description, House by the Sea, I can see cliffs in the distance. Let me just move it on so you can see it. The house is very remote. It is a blue sky, or there is a blue sky, I really should have written there, there is a blue sky. And uh, that is a blue sky, and I'll leave it there. And then just don't click on clear, click on this button here. And you're hoping that it's gonna draw an image for you. And in fact, what it will do is produce four images. So let's just wait and see. And there they are, our four images. And we're going to choose the one that we like. I really like this one here with the beach. So I'm going to click on that. And now I can add that on to the screen. Okay, so if I click on publish now, there is my result. Now this could be a really interesting activity because the students can prepare their descriptions and then write them in. So this is great for homework. And of course the other thing is that afterwards students can comment. Now an activity that I did was that I got the students to comment by just choosing three key words that they think describe the picture. So that generated loads and loads of vocabulary. So the students all put their pictures up on the screen, then I had to go back and look at three other pictures and in each picture add three keywords that describe that image so loads of vocabulary was generated okay really hope you liked that video and if you did as I said please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com and make use of all the free videos there there's also the uh, newsletter that you can sign up to and as part of that you'll get this 14 part video course which focuses on the key technologies that we can use in teaching and learning in the area of language teaching 
If you'd like to have one-to-one -one tuition with me or group tuition with me, you can actually join me on Patreon. I do run a Patreon channel and uh, you can click on the front page of teachertrainingvideos.com to find out about that. And don't forget also, if you wanna learn about how I'm making my videos and how I built up my YouTube channel, we have launched a new channel called uh, Screencast Guru and that's all about making YouTube videos and building up a channel, uh, particularly in the area of education and you might find that interesting. I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now that you might like to watch and thank you very much.